तो आज हम कंपाउंड पेंडुलम शुरू करते हैं बिकॉज हमने लास्ट टाइम में सिंपल पेंडुलम पढ़ लिया था तो व्हाट इज़ द कंपाउंड पेंडुलम सो एनी रिजिट बॉडी सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम ए रिजिट सपोर्ट फ्री टू ऑसिलेट इन अ वर्टिकल प्लेन अबाउट द सस्पेंशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ कंपाउंड पेंडुलम सो वी कंसिडर अ कंपाउंड पेंडुलम लाइक दिस बिकॉज द शेप ऑफ द कंपाउंड पेंडुलम does not uh, remain same as simple pendulum so we are considering some irregular shape of body so whose center of mass is acted at g point and uh, su suspended at an angle theta so this uh, total mass of the compound pendulum is uh, working at angle theta so there are two component mg cos theta and mg sin theta so similar to a simple pendulum in this case there is a slight different so in in this case when this uh, body is moving in this Uh, oscillation so like uh, in this oscillation uh, like uh, this oscillation so in this case instead of working the force there is a torque so in this in uh, case of the compound problem that uh, uh, instead of force that restoring torque is acted so what is the value of restoring torque so the value of restoring torque is uh, so the restoring torque is tau equal to minus of mg sin theta that is your force towards the, this uh, vertical motion and this l is the your perpendicular length so the torque is as you know r cross f so this is minus mgl sin theta and uh, we know that the torque is i into alpha and this is your mgl sin theta and the for very small oscillation this theta is sin theta is equal to theta so i alpha equal to minus mgl into theta so alpha is minus mgl upon i into theta angular acceleration alpha is written as in terms of d2 theta by dt square and this is plus mgl upon i into theta so this uh, directly represent d2 y by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0 this is a uh, simple uh, equation of shm so Uh, by comparing the equation of shm this omega square is comes to be mgl upon i okay so because as we know that this is a equation of uh, d2 x upon dt square plus omega e square x equal to 0 so this is your equation of shm and by comparing this we get omega e square equal to this mgl upon i so omega equal to mgl upon i as we know that omega is 2 pi by t so t equal to 2 pi not i by mgl so because there is a regular shape of body so instead of uh, talking about the this uh, uh, working length of this length of uh, your uh, pendulum we here we have taken taken as the radius of gyration and the, if k is the radius of gyration that is situated at some uh, any other point like this or uh, like here 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 anywhere so by using the perpendicular axis theorem we can easily convert it uh, using perpendicular axis theorem sorry using parallel axis theorem this i is mk square plus ml square so this is mk square plus ml square and here as we put in the in the place of i this is your i equal to mk square plus ml square okay uh, upon l upon mg so as we this mass will be cancel out and t is equal to 2 pi under k square l by l plus l this is the length of the equivalent simple pendulum so this is the final expression for the time pendulum uh, time period of a compound pendulum now we are talking about the torsional pendulum so in is in this case a restoring torque is acted but in terms of twisting couple because in this case the uh, this force is this rotation is taking place like in this way so as the rotation is takes place like in this way and we know that tau is equal to minus c theta i d to theta by d square as similar to the above expression 
so d, d to theta by dt square plus c by i into theta equal to 0 so omega is equal to c by i and omega equal to c by i so c is a couple couple and uh, i is a moment of inertia so you can easily cal calculate the moment of inertia of this uh, rod shape body because in case of rod only twisting is take place twisting about its own axis so first thing here we have to determine the value of couple and that is pi eta r power 4 by 2 well for the wire now the next uh, uh, this is our uh, uh, how to determine the modulus of rigidity of a wire and uh, let us uh, suppose that this is a wire and uh, we are twisting this wire from b to b prime and the horizontal position at an angle theta while from vertical position this is phi because as we twist here twist here so b is in b prime so from this position this is theta this is theta and this is phi so okay and uh, as we know that this this arc is in this area b b prime equal to x into theta arc upon radius while in case of the vertical plane vertical twisting b b prime equal to l phi so by equating these two equation we clearly obtain the value for the phi that is x theta by l and we know that the modulus of rigidity, rigidity is stress that is capital F that is stress upon angular strain how uh, what is the slight angle it changes by the twisting so the as you know that force equal to, uh, this stress equal to eta into phi and uh, from equation 3 we put the value of phi so eta x theta by l and uh, first we have to determine the force so force equal to f into area and eta x theta by l from this equation and this is a area element of this wire from the lower axis so this is 2 pi x into dx is the your area element and 2 pi eta theta by l x square dx is the final expression by solving this so this this uh, force is a formed a couple this force creates a couple in terms of movement of a force because we know that what is couple the couple is a when two uh, same and uh, opposite forces acted at a point form a couple okay same but opposite in uh, direction same with same magnitude but opposite direction from the couple so this is your c equal to 2 pi eta theta by l x square dx into x this is your moment of force force into perpendicular distance and by solving this 2 pi eta theta by l x square x cube dx and uh, so for the whole area element this equation should be integrated uh, from 0 to r because r is the radius of fire and as we solve this equation we obtain c equal to pi eta r power 4 theta by 2l and the couple per unit twist is c by theta that is pi eta r power 4 by 2l so here in uh, case of that original pendulum this couple is changes and this couple is changes by the twisting angle as well as uh, this uh, modulus of rigidity so by equating this equation in here we obtain the final expression for the time period of torsional pendulum so this is a uh, our final class and uh, this uh, chapter is finished so uh, in next chapter we have uh, discussed about some collisions okay thank you